Welcome guys to another video today. We're joined by The Life of Soul. Hey guys, great to be here. I'm with Demi, good friend of mine, former colleague as well. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to discuss a few issues. So happy to be on the channel. I'm looking forward to sharing my insights. Absolutely. So today we're starting off uh, one of our new series for the corporate people um, who are interested in investment banking and finance. So for those that don't know, um, Sol and I actually worked together in investment banking in our first jobs after graduating from the University of Warwick. Um, we've definitely been through the trenches, had to work significantly long hours together. Crazy, yeah. um, so the plan for this video is to really walk you through the do's and don'ts of you know, a first year investment banking analyst um, and let you know a bit more about our own experience whilst we were in the banks. So stay tuned, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and follow all of so um, Sol's social media that will be available in the description. Cool. Okay guys, so um, you know, before we get to the gems, before we get to the tips and tricks, I'd like to touch on why Sol and I actually chose to go into investment banking mm -hmm. as our first career in the first place. Um, just to give you a bit of background into both of us, we actually studied engineering degrees. Mm -hmm. So we're not coming from an economics or an accounting background, but we ended up doing corporate M&A. Um, so I'd like to just start off with you, Sol. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what, when did you realize you wanted to go into investment banking? What would you say the key catalyst was for that decision? Okay. Um, yeah, that's an interesting question, actually. So for me, my personal, when I decided, I'd probably say around six form. Okay. Probably say around six form. So I had coming from an African background, I had the parents kind of encouraging me to do traditional yeah, definitely. Uh, degrees or traditional paths. So it's like the lawyer, the doctor, you know, the standard stuff. I think, you know, I played around with the idea and I thought to myself, you know, doctor's a great career path, but I don't really have the patience to study as long. Mm. Law, I kind of enjoy because of the client facing element, but I kind of wanted to do something more dynamic and exciting. And I feel like, you know, reading, I knew about business, but I didn't know what investment banking entailed. So I wanted to do something that was closely related to business, that was a high rewarding career. And I think most importantly, I wanted to be in the city. Mm. So... I wouldn't say I knew what I wanted to do, M&A banking, but I know I wanted to be at the pinnacle of the city, mm -hmm. kind of bringing in big deals. And so that was more my career choice. And as I done my research, as I spoke to people, it, it kind of narrowed into investment bankers. I'd say that's my real approach. What about yourself? Okay, brilliant. Um, so for those that don't know, for me, um, I was quite a numerate guy when it came to academics. So I enjoyed subjects like maths, mm -hmm. further maths. Um, I was also quite keen on economics and just staying in the loop with financial times and so on. So I say for me, it naturally found me as a career path. Yeah. Um, my school was actually really good at emphasizing work experience. So mm -hmm. I remember doing my first, having my first taste of corporate experience course, when yeah, I was yeah. about year 10, oh, wow, so yeah. about 15, 16 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually at a financial recruitment firm and had seen a lot of jobs within investment banking. Oh, yeah. Obviously I saw salaries that had immediately made me say, okay, yeah, you course, know, I'd yeah, love yeah, to when you had that, a piece 21. of that pie, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, that probably directed me and then from the there I started to apply to a number of inside days mm -hmm. during sixth form so yeah. I went to a number of bulge bracket banks got a taste of what it was like to be yeah. an investment banker okay, okay, okay. and was quite an early starter I'd mm. say I went and prepped got all my spring internships okay. summer internships and okay. just went from there really so I think that's interesting because a lot of the message I get personally is when do you start and we used to say start as soon as possible exactly. like do your research exactly. and don't be afraid like I think going out cold calling messaging people just doing diligence and doing a google kind of search and seeing what opportunities are available because the earlier you kind of make that decision or find out the mm -hmm. better it is for you and i think for me similar to you i was fortunate enough to get into a program around i would say around the sixth form mark maybe the first summer before sixth form so what did i do i worked at a firm a reinsurance firm so one of the really good reinsurance firm the top five Mm. Reinsurance completely different from investment banking. But my first experience was in so I won't say the firm, but it was in a Gherkin, and I was just flabbergasted, you know. Um, going in then, I think when I applied and I got the opportunity and I looked at the building, I said, you know, going in the city, meeting these really, really smart people, you know, I was just taken back. And I think after getting into there, even though reinsurance was completely different than what I'm currently in, but yeah, I think doing that quite early on. Um, kind of ignited the fire mm. in finance and then mm -hmm. as I went on I wanted to kind of get into investment banking so I'll say that was my first experience and then like you we got to university I had kind of an idea so I got into those spring weeks mm -hmm. you know got on offer for a summer internship and then we took it from there brilliant 
Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. So if we fast forward a bit, mm -hmm. um, you know, we've gone to the University of Warwick, mm -hmm. we've, you know, worked hard, played hard, mm -hmm. enjoyed ourselves at the uni. Um, too much, really. You know, <laughs> at what point did you start buckling down and getting yourself ready for that final graduate role mm -hmm. um, in investment banking in the end? I would say it really hit home probably after the spring weeks. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. just, you know, spring weeks was great, but then you had, you thought, okay, I'd made it, a free hotel, you got to meet all these keen people. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, going to the university we went to, you got to meet people from Oxford, Cambridge, mm. you know, you thought you were there. Yeah. And all of a sudden they hit us with the assessment centers. So I'm first year of uni, I hardly know anything, you know, 18, 19. Mm. And then we have to go through this assessment day where we had like a bunch of numerical tests, oh, yeah. verbal tests, interviews. And I think it hit home when I was meeting people from the uni that had, I think that, that that's, because I think when it hits home is when you can see people within your kind of line of path that yes. you're going through in your journey. So it's like, I'm in first year and we've met, I think it was mainly third years that have gone through that. Same exactly. courses as us. And you know, they all of a sudden they have jobs at 50, 60, 70,000 outside uni. So I think mm. it hit home after the spring internship when we had the kind of offers to do the summer or going through that process. And I think, Again, I'm, I'm very orientated. I see the bigger picture and I, and I work my steps to get there. Yeah. So I think that's when they hit home. I'll probably say end of spring internship and then I started buckling down, you know, making sure I convert because like Demi kind of said, we come from non-traditional, non-finance backgrounds. So we didn't study accounting, you know, we didn't study finance. So we had to learn this. So within our spare time, after our degree and after kind of going out and playing, we had to really understand what are the questions, what are the answers, what are exactly. the fundamentals and so I'm sorry to say it was then. What about yourself? Yeah, I'd say very similar. Um, I was sold on the career path after my first spring internship. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as you said, the attractiveness of the job, compensation, the ability to work with extremely smart minds on exciting deals with business leaders that you'd probably struggle to meet in other career paths at such a junior level. You know, I was just like to myself, I want to do this investment banking course, thing. Of so, course, yeah. You know, I did a investment banking summer internship in my penultimate year of university mm -hmm. at Warwick. Um, I was a bit unlucky. There wasn't enough headcount on that internship for mm -hmm. me to come and join as mm -hmm. a graduate. Mm -hmm. So the moment I took that internship opportunity, I was just hit the ground running yeah. just before my final year. Of course. Um, and I was able to actually achieve my graduate job offer, um, you know, before Christmas. Yeah. So I, I took that pressure off and of course, was able to yeah, just you know pressure. get my head down, yeah. buckle down on the degree and, and look forward to it. And yeah. I think, you know, us actually going from Warwick and then meeting on this graduate day without knowing that's that crazy. either of us yeah, would yeah, yeah. arrive was Because we've done the same degree, yeah, which is yeah. crazy. And I think that's another yeah, so that was a gem actually Demi dropped. Uh we were both we got multiple offers, but mm. I think the key thing is we didn't necessarily get our first Offers so perseverance is key. Similar Absolutely. to him, like myself, you know, I was at a well-known investment bank. I've said in my previous videos, and you know, there wasn't enough headcount, so I could have taken that rejection as, oh my gosh, what do I do? But what did exactly. I do? I went down. I got my head down. It was tough because balancing it with the degree, the amount of lecture classes we might uh, have missed, which we don't recommend. Make yeah, sure, yeah, because you can't get into without getting the. So it's a minimum threshold of a two-one. So without getting your grades at university you that's the minimum threshold you will not get the offer so it's important to focus and make sure you can you know get your two one in whatever your chosen degree is so we made sure we kind of done that and it was a big sacrifice yeah but um and just to follow on on that point actually mm -hmm. you know sometimes guys when you actually receive that job offer you might see a conditional mm -hmm. a condition on your degree outcome mm -hmm. being a two one mm -hmm. and you don't want to have worked so hard throughout your university oh, career on yeah. securing a great career mm -hmm but then you know, miss out at the final step just because of yeah. your grades. So as Sol said, please try to be as efficient in your time management, yeah. as productive as possible when you are applying, mm -hmm. but do not, do not forget that degree, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and we'll definitely talk on further videos about exactly. how to kind of, I guess, simultaneously do both, which is a key skill, um, but we'll talk about that in further videos. So yeah, just going back, um, you know, dealing with, with the initial rejection and yeah, making sure we secure the offer and then yeah, you get to a situation where, you know, you you come you're in your final year and you know mm. you have a degree and you can focus on getting the degrades and you know got embarking on a new journey post exactly. university, yeah. And it's a very exciting pro process because you know, you're in your final year, mm -hmm. eventually you start getting communications from your graduate role. Yeah 
and they, they start saying to you, okay, we'd like to schedule a call with yourself and a few members of our floor. Team, yeah. Let's try and find you the right team for when you join. Mm-hmm. They start to send you details of training. Yeah, you, you know, we yeah. had a very fun training experience. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, um, yeah, and you start to see, that. exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So if we fast forward now to, you know, we've both finished university. Mm-hmm. It's the summer of 2019, yeah. you know, where Brett, I had ready to start our careers in investment yeah, banking. Yeah, it even yeah. felt like, um, Jordan Belfort in Wall, yeah. Wall Street. I don't know if you guys watch you just that, get to yeah. Wall Street, you're you're ready, yeah. you know, you meet your whole cohort. And and let's talk about, you know, that very first day. Okay. You walk through those doors and you know you're now an investment banking analyst okay. in training. Mm. I wouldn't say it hit just because you really didn't. I think we're gonna touch on that. You don't really know you have an idea what you're getting to, obviously the internships were